Welcome to Bear Armory. Today we will talk about a unique Soviet development, the TKB-059 three-barreled multiple rocket launcher. The Soviet Union created many quite interesting types of small arms, but even more were promising experimental developments. Yes, a huge segment of that market was taken over by the Kalashnikov assault rifles, which were considered the best and most stable. Last but not least, because of them, there were few really interesting serial projects. And this weapon was not always commonplace and familiar to ordinary people in the military themselves. For example, in the 60s there was a popular development of the three-barreled TKB-059 volley fire rifle. The first such automatic rifle produced in the USSR was the 3B. It was developed in Tula in 1962. It was designed to fire three bullets in a burst and to do so before the recoil and sight shifted. For this purpose, one block of three barrels was made and the rate of fire of all three bullets was not more than one-tenth of a second. A recoil block of barrels and an ammunition magazine were used for convenience and speed. The magazines were in three sections and each contained 15 or 20 rounds. As a result of the tests, the 3B performed quite well, and Korobov set out to develop the next model, the TKB-059. The TKB was a more beautiful and improved design, and was lighter in weight than its predecessor. It had a very accurate and comfortable loading system. Ideally it had a rate of fire of 1,800 rounds per minute. The pressure on the shooter's shoulder was quite low. It weighed a little over 4 pounds and was a little over 23 inches long. Also, the firing mechanism was somewhat improved. The gun was equipped with a wedge bolt, casings and spent gas were carried forward. An interesting solution was the grip, which was located behind the magazine. To sum it up, after testing in the mid-60s, this rifle showed pretty good results, and there were almost no complaints about it. German Korobov was even praised for his design thinking and work, but, alas, this rifle did not go further than a few samples, due to the dead-end nature of the project. It was unprofitable at the time, and even unrealistic. This was proved by the American developments, which also were not mass-produced. So, this rifle was only part of the evolutionary chain of automatic weapons and firing principles. It was developed by Korobov, and his works contributed greatly to the development of the small arms. Well, his submachine gun will forever remain only in museums and documents, and who knows, maybe in the future this project will get a new life, albeit in a slightly modified form. As all new is well forgotten old. What do you think of this Avamata? Write in the comments. Friends, like the video then support me like and subscribe to the channel, but be sure to click on the bell not to miss new videos and be aware of the latest news. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Thanks everyone, bye bye.